So uh, some of my audio equipment, this is a shout out. We're not getting paid or sponsored by this company, but I, I need to tell Phil this. I bought a few pieces of equipment from Sweetwater, which is a really good audio you know, equipment store online. And with every purchase, they give you a ba a small bag of candy. It says our sweet way of saying thank you. And it comes in a little bag. I'll show it to you. It's a nice little bag of candy. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. I just would like to point out to you, Philip, oh, that no. there is. See, I would not buy anything from that. <laughs> There's candy. a Tootsie that's Roll like in it. Tootsie Rolls or or the sequel trilogy of the candy. <laughs> Do you see any candy corn in here? No, but I do see a bit of honey in that, like, uh, that's all right in my book. There you go. And there's even the, there's even the flavored, like the fruity Tootsie Roll. Yeah. I don't know. So there you go. And, there, and we're not sponsored <laughs> by Sweetwater. Uh, I just think it's neat how they give you a little bag of candy and it has Tootsie Rolls in. So I'm a fan of theirs. That's probably because they pick them up off the street because they're free because everybody just throws them out in the gutter. And they're like, hey, we're just going to. You know, well, make us look them because they know people like them. Uh, I don't think so. And Probably we'll get them out them. of that. That's what's left over in their kids' Halloween pail, and they just—they're such good candy, but they last that long. Oh yeah, mm. they last forever. Nobody eats them. I love Tootsie Rolls. We'll be having Tootsie Rolls at Final Boss Con, so come to our table and tell Phil how wrong he is and eat a piece of Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Now you can come and show me how you do the Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll to the left. To the left. <laughs> right. But yeah, don't don't bring me Tootsie Rolls. Welcome everyone back to another episode of Muggle with a Mike. Katie here and Phil's back with me. Hey, I'm Phil. back. Yes, I am. I'm so I'm I'm I like doing remote episodes, but I'm really happy to be back in our in your video gameville and in my mugville <laughs> what have you been up to phil just doing summer things you know doing summer's busy busy yeah what kind of summer uh, things didn't you go like on a vacation fancy vacation uh yeah i went um uh, i went on vacation a couple weeks ago yeah went to central america it was nice Nice. Was the weather good? Yeah. Oh, good. You did. You sent me a picture, and I was very jealous. Yeah, it was. It was very nice. The water a better, looked a lot, be, a lot better than here. <laughs> here, it's still cold. Here, it's like forty in the morning. What's up with that? Oh, what? What's the temperature there in the morning? Uh, where? In here, Central it, America. Oh, oh, it's seventy or eighty. Really? Yeah. But I'm no. not there right now. So. But it's, well, yeah, I wasn't asking you literally. What is the te current temperature right here now? Oh, here, I, <laughs> I don't know, probably. <laughs> well, what technically, it? it's whatever. It's 82. Well, it's your, but, whatever your thermostat's at. Well, that's true. It's 82, but in the morning, it's been like in the 40s, like early morning. Like a couple of weeks ago, it was like it was like forty during the day. It was like freezing. Mm -hmm. Well, two special things today. We are recording this on Father's Day, so Happy Father's Day, Phil. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I just realized your shirt. Please tell everyone what your shirt is. I just saw it. <laughs> ruff, 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 it's, ruff. It's pause. <laughs> It's the, it looks like the Jaws picture, but it has a wiener dog. Is that a shark going after the wiener dog? No, it's like a big dog. Oh, okay. Like a, a big Doberman or something. I see the teeth. It's fluffy. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, instead of Jaws, it says paws. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy Father's Day. And uh, tomorrow is Juneteenth, another day to celebrate. Yeah. All right, let's do our mugs now, our mug section. Uh, you go first. Pause. I got... Uh, Ooh. Costa Rica. Hey, we just talked about it, Costa Rica. We did. It, that Ooh. is literally what your picture looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, well, just, my I took my picture and slapped it on that mug. <laughs> Did you, is that the truck you were driving? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Surfboards on it. Heck yeah. Yeah, that that looks nice. What's the color inside the mug? Blue. Blue. Like I like the mug has a different color. There's nothing, the there's nothing in it yet. You're drinking dihydrogen oxide. No, di. Yeah, dihydrogen oxide, H2O. All right, my mug is kind of a repeat, but not really a repeat because I technically haven't used this to drink out of yet, but it's the uh, Railroad Museum mug. Oh. Yeah. Very nice. I like it. It's a sturdy mug. It has a beverage in it. Mm. I'm going to put a beverage in mine. I just well get around to it. I have this beverage that I wanted to actually drink. That's a, that has water in it, but I, I got a blue moon. I'm going to drink the blue moon during the episode. Ready? Mine has Skittles flavored water. Really? Mm -hmm. There's Skittles flavored water. Yeah. When you get the Skittles uh, flavoring packets and put in the water. Hey, so Phil, we are talking <clears throat> all things creed for this episode like the band yeah with arms wide open with arms wide open <laughs> under the sunlight uh that's my best impression of him <laughs> uh, hey that was uh creed was a force to be reckoned with back in the late 90s they were was what the was 90s, the other early... song oh they had a bunch um my what was it my sacrifice. My think, sacrifice. Kind of, okay. Uh, I think. I don't know. They got a bunch. Here, so a I bunch. gotta look them up because it's gonna give look. me. Uh, rep, it's gonna give me the good, all the good feels. Higher came out in '99. My sacrifice, 2001. So yeah, they. I thought they were all '90s, but they're early 2000s as well. Uh, they they are kind of like the Nickelback of the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he had a very distinctive voice, didn't he? Yeah, I used to have, a, like, at one video, um, arms wide open, he had, a, like, a, uh, a yellow jacket. I used to have a yellow jacket like that. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Where's it at? Used to. Uh, Why'd yeah. you get rid of it? I, I, I used to have, I don't know, I wore it out. <laughs> I sit there with my, my arms wide open and it just, Un over time. Under the sunlight? That must have been yeah. hot. <laughs> Oh no, they're good. They're they were a good band, but they were that everyone made fun of you if you liked them for some reason. I don't. Well, know. I think that was after. That's kind of like Nickelback. I mean, everybody loved Nickelback, but then it got to a point where it's just a you know, I guess people got sick of them. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time um, it makes me laugh. <clears throat> okay uh so yeah anyway we are talk not talking about the band creed on this episode we are talking about adonis creed aka michael b jordan aka rocky balboa's nephew kind of uh godfather god and was then, he his godfather okay i think so i don't i mean because that was apollo creed i mean rocky wasn't Related to Apollo Creed, but I think maybe, I don't know. You, you just watched it. <laughs> you just watched all three of them. Well, I didn't watch. Dang. Okay. So full disclosure, I have, I watched the first Rocky when I was really young. And then the rest of them. Well, I meant, I meant the Creeds. You just. Do, I know, do, but do, do like... you don't, you don't really fully understand the full story of Apollo Creed. If you don't watch the original, so you get bits and pieces and information from these new Creed ones. But if you, he, yeah, he calls him my uncle, but I don't, I think it's just, that's like kind of a, oh no, I'm not uncle. saying that they're fully related. I think that yeah. it's just the relationship between his father and Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll get into talking about that. It is a boxing movie. Um, so Phil, I just wanted to, Test your boxing knowledge. I people hit each other. <laughs> yeah, in the face. ding 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 ding. An upper upper torso. <laughs> okay, 
This is the beginner punch that you'll likely start with practically every boxing class. It's also referred to as one when calling out combos. Uh, that would be Hawaiian punch. <laughs> the Hawaiian punch. That's another flavor packet, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I'll give you a clue. This is only for our visual viewers, not for the it's podcast. The, it's the viewers. face punch. What's what's this one? The face punch. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian punch or face punch. Yeah. <laughs> now, this one is called the jab. Jab, jab, okay. jab. Yeah. All right. This is going to be a quick episode, guys, because we just want to talk about the movie. So let's get into... Creed, the movies. Okay, so Creed, the first one, came out in 2015. The second one in 2018. And the third one was from this this year, 2023. It's rated PG-13, and it ran for, well, the first one ran for two hours and 13 minutes. The former world heavyweight champion Rocky Balboa serves as a trainer and mentor to Adonis Johnson, the son of his late friend and formal, former rival, Apollo Creed. Uh, directed by Ryan Coogler, um, stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, and Tessa Thompson. All right, Phil, thoughts on, do you want to go movie by movie or just the whole thing in general? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to rank, I'm going to rank. Okay, that's a good favorite. idea. So my, my favorite one was Creed 2. Okay. Then Creed 1. Okay. And then my least favorite was Creed 3. I was going to do the same. I was teetering between 1 and 2, but 3rd is is the least favorite. But not that it's bad. It just yeah. felt slow yeah. at times, especially the beginning of it. I think the 3rd one was Sylvester Stallone's least favorite, too. <laughs> okay, so the the 4th one might come out in 2025 if they do it. It's going to be. Sylvester hinted that he might be in it. Okay. He yeah, said he didn't that, want to. He thought this one, the third one was too dark. He didn't. That's why he wasn't in it. Also, they wanted him in it. Yeah, he didn't want to do it. He didn't like the story. He thought it was too dark. Well, okay, so we'll just get into key, Creed three right now because we already have. Yeah. So he's he's aged and he's retired, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Um. And then he comes out of retirement, does that fight. And then we end the film. I think there's, they're clearly saying we're coming back because the last, the last scene, the camera stays in the <clears> boxing <throat> ring. I think if he was done, the camera would have followed him. But the camera stays in the boxing ring. So we're, we're going to come back for another thing. But what are they going to do? Is Adonis going to train someone else? Or are we going to see Donnie fighting again? What do you think? No, I think he'll retire. I mean, you know, like you said earlier, boxers only have an X amount of, you get too old, any sports. I mean, so I, I don't think, um, I mean, they, I don't know. I mean, if they do another movie, possibly, but. I but mean, I, I could, what is Donnie going to train somebody else? And if so, who? His daughter? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, he kind of started training her. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I could go kind of a different direction with that. Yeah. Um, I just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So. I, th I, I, you know me, I like, you like when the girl takes the helm. So if they spotlight his daughter, that'll Amara, that'll be, that'll be neat. And it'll be neat because she's deaf. So like, yeah. it's just, she learned rhythms of the punching and she, and she's not affected by the crowd and everything else. And that'll be interesting. <clears throat> what, what did you think about the final fight? The way they filmed it, where he was, it was like, he was fighting kind of like, like childhood. I don't know. It was just, I thought it, I don't know. What, tell me your thoughts on it. Did you like that? Or were they? Okay. So I can understand what they were doing and what they were trying to. Yeah. It was trying to, it was just them. It was like, it was not about the people in the stands. Yeah. It was just about those two guys trying to fight out their issues. So I get it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I would have had yeah. they included the lights and the sound and the crowd. And, and yeah, I don't think, I don't think, 
I mean, uh, kudos for them for attempting that artistically, but I just don't think they pulled it off well. I agree. Yeah. It, it, it... Yeah, I mean, we could say it over and over in different ways, but yeah, they tried. They tried to do something interesting, and I understand what they were trying to do, but didn't yeah. enjoy it as much. Um, two or and three, but they just kept the story moving along. There wasn't a lot of wasted time, wasted shots. It was like, let's tell this story. It's a good story, uh, and I, I thought they it was quality and not quantity of a film, and I liked it. Um, what if they did the fourth one? What if? They had Adonis Creed fight Killmonger. Uh, who would win? Who's Killmonger? Help me out. Off Black Panther. It was his character. Ooh, evil yeah. twin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who okay, might? let's talk about Mikey. Or, or they could have him fight the Human Torch. <laughs> the same guy. Because <laughs> he was, he played the Human Torch. And, well, uh, okay. That really bad Fantastic Four movie. Uh, speaking as the female of the podcast, and you just brought up Human Torch, flame on when Mikey B. Jordan stepped on the screen in his boxing physique. Woo! Mm. Anyway, but no, seriously, talk about having to maintain your physique for these films. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to know how much time he spent in the gym. That's why Hugh Jackman doesn't... Never wanted, he wanted to quit playing Wolverine because that was all he did was eat like boiled chicken he kept in his pocket and push ups. I mean, you know, at a certain point, it's just like, mm. I mean, good for them. They look healthy, but I can't imagine that that living that kind but of life is that is really healthy. healthy. No, yeah, I don't, I don't think it, it looks it, you know, being looking chiseled and stuff, but maintaining that is just, I, don't, I wouldn't think it'd be that healthy. It can't be the... fun. James J. Braddock is an Irish American boxer from New Jersey, formerly a light heavyweight contender, who was forced to give up boxing after breaking his hand in the ring. In the what? Ring. Oh. Um. Uh... I can give you a clue of, as to who the main... Right, right. Raging Bull. No. I'll give you a clue as the main actor in it is Russell Crowe. Uh, Gladiator. No. <laughs> uh, think of a glass slipper. Cinderella. Cinderella Man. Oh, yeah. Cinderella. I messed my mouth. 